it's Friday morning. Today we gotta replace an expansion valve in a water furnace. It keeps locking out on the water flow in heat mode. All right, so we are at the job. We gotta change this expansion valve in this geothermal water furnace. And we got another Intello zone on the side of it. Get our gauges hooked up. Start recovering the charge. Ooh. Some tight spots. Thank <laughs> you. 
just for leaks. Ten minutes, see how it looks. We passed the pressure test. We got our vacuum going. Vacuum gauge going on it. Going down. I'm gonna start foam taping everything. Since the bulbs are hatched. Vacuum pump was holding 500, 520 microns, pretty good. We're about to weigh in the charge and. Test. We're gonna put this on multi-zone. I'm gonna go away in this charge. A little over three and a half pounds. Four ten eight. There's three pounds ten ounces. That ought to be good. Go get my geo tools. Go Y2 to red. Looks good. Speed up this timer. This is 410A, so we want to see somewhere around 4, 130 on the suction and 300 to 350 on the head. Of course, we'll check our superheat and self cooling. We're near the TXV sensing bulb. A little temperature here. So about a 14 degree superheat, which is if you're not familiar with geothermal, you need to get a water pressure drop. Uh, 21 going in, 14 coming out. It's actually a 67 entering water. It was 66.9, so we'll just go to 67. 60 degree leaving, because we're pulling heat out of the water, putting the home. is 7 degree temperature drop temperature drop we want to look at our chart here it's probably about right probably moving 12 gallons per minute we're getting a six pound a six degree temperature drop in this 36,000 BTUs heat of extraction we got a 66 degree entering water 60 degree leaving water 21 entering 14 leaving pressure drop 7 6 degree temperature drop and then we do this formula gallons per minute times 500 times the delta T which is 12 times 500 times 6 gives us 36,000 BTUs heat of extraction because we are in the heat mode alright I hope it all helped you guys there's our head pressure running at 350, suction pressure 135, let's check our superheat one more time since it's run a little while, we're looking at a 62 degree, see where my blue thermal couple is, so 62 degrees and on our red we're at 48, that gives us about 11 12 degree superheat so yeah i call that a fix this is bill water furnace tech thanks for watching i hope this helps somebody see you on the next one